I was sent this item to give my honest opinion. So let's take it out of the box, get it set up. So I can do that. So this is what you're gonna find in the box. You're gonna find the screen, of course. You're gonna find a manual that goes over all the features of this tool. There is some clips here that are stick on so that it lets you route this cable or this cable or both easier throughout your vehicle. This is the power cable that goes into a 12 volt accessory port. This is the audio cable that would go into the auxiliary in your radio if you wanna run it that way. There's also an FM transmitter in the device. I don't know if it's in this cord or in the actual screen, but there's an FM transmitter. If you don't wanna do it through the auxiliary cable, then you can also do it through the FM station. It comes with an extra stick pad. There's already a stick pad on this base. And then it comes with a quick start guide. This is also a little scraper here. I think it's to help you get off any of this if you need to get it off your car, because basically the base will stick onto your dash. That's basically all the parts in the box. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and see how well it works. All right, so I'm in my son's Volt right now where he does not have Android Auto and he doesn't even have Bluetooth that allows you to play your music across Bluetooth. It basically just has Bluetooth for answering calls, but that's about it. So now he's got this device set up in here. So the 12 volt power cord that it comes with actually also has the FM transmitter installed. So if you can see right here, it says FM transmitter on. You gotta go in there and click that button and do a little bit of setup on getting your transmitter turned on and what station you wanna broadcast on. I set this to like 88.1 because we don't have any stations around here that broadcast on 88.1. And now anything that would come off of here will play across his radio on 88.1. So he's going to hear it in his vehicle, through his speakers, anything that this Android Auto device is doing. So then you have to go in and set up Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So I set up Android Auto because my phone is Android, but my son's phone is actually Apple. So he's going to be running Apple CarPlay. And you basically go in there, you set up Bluetooth, you go through the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay application on the smart screen and get through all the prompts, do the things it tells you. It tells you right on the screen what you need to do to get connected. So that wasn't very hard to get connected. And then you would just click on the Android Auto button. It's gonna open up the Android Auto app that's communicating with your phone and display it on the screen. So this left bar here is always displayed on the screen. So this doesn't go away. This little touchscreen section here, this is your quick buttons, turning it on and off. This is your FM transmitter settings. This is the settings that you would do on the actual device. And this is your home button. So you can go in there and do the settings you need to do and that always stays on. But when you open up Android Auto, everything else on this side is running on your phone. Basically, it recognizes that I was listening to the music on Spotify, and then you can go in and enter your destinations and so forth through Google Maps or whatever you're gonna use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay for. It's a great screen. It touches really easy and well. Basically, you just need to find the place you wanna install it. This we're gonna run right above his main infotainment system that's already in his car. That way he can see everything he needs to see in his car. Like right now, here's the climate. And then he has his capability of running his navigation, his mappings, all of that stuff in his music up here. And then again, it plays through the speakers. I would give that sample for you, but of course music is copyrighted and I can't play any of that on the video. So yeah, it's pretty easy to set up. It's got a beautiful screen. I like the format. I like how it's laid out nice and wide. If you're looking for a device like this, it's definitely one I would look at. So I hope this review was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you would do that, that really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.